So, of course, it's not that long until we get the first GTA 6 trailer. I've done a couple videos about it now since genuinely for me at the moment it's one of the most sort of exciting and interesting topics that there is in gaming at the moment. Really, GTA 6, obviously, absolutely massively hyped game. And the fact we're actually getting so close to, you know, proper, proper news about that is really, really exciting. And, um, yeah, a big moment, really. And um, at the beginning of December of 2023, there's a deer in the road here, um, we will be getting the first trailer. Now, I've done videos talking about what the trailer's going to include, all that, so I'm not really focusing on that in this video. Um, the main thing that we're going to be talking about today isn't just normal GTA 6, we're going to be talking about the online portion of the game, what we could expect from that, how that might work, will it be available at launch, and all of that good stuff. Since, of course, at the end of the day, the story is, of course, really popular, but the main money maker, and the one thing that sort of keeps the game alive, especially with GTA 5 for so long, was GTA Online, right? So, yeah, it's obviously, yeah, it plays a massive part. For some people, that's what they play, well, for most people, it's what they sink more hours into over the years, of course. Most people start off with the story, then it doesn't take long for them to move over to, over to the online portion, and um, that's that, really. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see, that is a really nice car, it's going to be interesting to see how it works with GTA 6, and um, in this video, we're going to be talking a bit about, sort of, GTA 6 online, whatever it's going to be called, and what we can expect from it. So, to start things off, w will it be called GTA 6 online? No, probably not. I th actually think that it's going to be continuing with just GTA Online for the online portion since um, since GTA Online came to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. It's no longer G it's, it's, it's separate to GTA 5. It's its own standalone game. So I think that it's going to stay as GTA Online. I, I do. I think that um, they'll just... I, it's hard to know what they'll do with the current GTA Online, of course, if they do keep the same name since they can't really have it so it's um that well they can't they can't you know they, i doubt they're going to keep them both sort of under the same name it wouldn't really work if that makes sense so that what we're seeing right now obviously this is called gta online so i don't know what they'll do with that it's hard to know since of course the new gta online game whatever it's going to be called will feature the gta 6 map i assume i'd be very 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 surprised if it didn't i don't think that would make much sense at all so I wouldn't really expect anything other than for it to, you know, to feature the GTA 6 map. So, it's, yeah, it's hard to know exactly what it'll be called, but I think GTA Online is pretty likely, unless they, you know, completely switch it up. But I think that that's likely. But they could, you know, completely change things up, and it's not anything like that. It might not even have online in the name. Who knows? But um, yeah, I think GTA Online is likely because of the fact that GTA 5 has moved away from GTA Online, and now GTA Online is its own standalone game if that makes sense so yeah now we saw a similar thing with red dead online as well but of course that game gets nowhere near the support the gta online gets so um yeah it's hard to sort of compare the two in a, in a way but um yeah now in terms of with interestingly i can't remember actually for the life of me with gta 5 but i remember with red dead redemption 2 red dead online didn't release right at launch it actually released a little later so whether we'll get that with GTA 6, I don't know, since, yeah, it might be that they release the online portion of the game just slightly after the release, obviously, that means that all that time and effort they put into the story is actually properly focused on, and then maybe a month after the release of the GTA 6 story, they release the online portion of the game. I think that's not a bad idea, since you don't want people, they're going to put so much time and effort into the story, you don't want there to be some people that, you know, don't experience it just because they really want to play the online, so I think it, I would completely understand if Rockstar did release the online portion of the game later on. I'm not sure if they... I think they did do that with GTA 5. They definitely did it with Red Dead. And I think it makes sense. I, I do think it makes sense. And of course, they'll start developing the story before they start developing the online. So the online will need a bit more time as well. So, yeah, I think that's likely. Now, in terms of how the game will work, I think in terms of monetization, everything like that, it's still going to be the good old monetization we get with GTA Online at the moment. I assume they'll have some sort of, you know in-game purchases of course microtransactions all of that good stuff I'm, i have no doubt will play a pretty big part in the new one um in terms of some things i i it's hard to know exactly what will be available day one in terms of content i assume they'll continue doing the sort of heist thing since of course with gta online the main content the most popular content has always been the heist so yeah it's hard to know exactly what they'll do with that but i think um it's likely that the main form of content will be something similar to Heist. They might not call it Heist, since they might want to really switch things up a bit. 
But obviously something like that is what I would say we can expect to be the best, you know, most popular and most common form of content within the game. Now, one of the big talking points is character progression, since, of course, GTA Online has been out for, well, getting on for 10 years now. So, people have racked up pretty high-level characters with lots and lots of stuff, and they, you know, they've synced a lot of hours into the game, and it's rare that that sort of thing happens, where it, people sink that many hours into a game, and then, obviously, they move on to the next one. It's only really Rockstar, where... Obviously, it's not a yearly, you know, you get games like Call of Duty where things have changed, you know, reset every year, but that's yearly and that, you know, you know, you're going to get that. So I don't know if they'll do any sort of character progression. They they don't have to. That is the, that is um very interesting driving. But um yeah, they don't, they don't have to do anything like that if they don't, you know, they, there's no reason for them to do it. But, well, no, that's a lie. There is reason for them to do it, but they don't, you know, they don't need to. It's not something that they should feel they need to be forced to do. And, um, but I feel like there'd be a lot of people that'd be quite annoyed of losing all their GTA Online progress. I mean, personally, for me, you're not losing it. I, I, because, you know, still, I can't see them. They might get rid of the old GTA Online. I think if they did that, then they would have to port some sort of progress over. But, um, yeah, I think that it's understandable. I wouldn't be too fast since, of course, it is a new game after all. But at the same time, it could be cool to sort of see a level come over, or just, just that, really. And maybe some of your money, or there's some sort of benefits and items that you get if you reach a certain point within GTA Online. But, um, yeah, they might do some sort of progression from the current GTA Online to the one with GTA 6. It's hard to know. But, um, yeah, that, I think that could really go either way. And, um, yeah, obviously we spoke about the release. I think that GTA 6 will release either at the end of 2024 or beginning of 2025 or the latest of the end of 2025 but i think the end of 2024 is looking very likely so um yeah i think that's i think i think that's probably what what it will be and then we'll just get loads of hype for a year of course leading up to its release and um obviously yeah with the first trailer being about a year before its release if it was to release at the end of 2024 and then i think that maybe if it did release say october november of 2024 then maybe a month after that we could see the online portion of the game release i think that'd be a good way to do it i think it's nice to sort of space them out it gives people time to play through the story they don't have to feel like you know oh, i really want to start grinding the gta 6 online as soon as it comes out to be one of the best but um yeah so i think it makes sense i would quite like them to do that to be honest to release them at separate times but obviously they might not who knows it's a new game it may might be going with something completely different to what they've done before like i said in other videos it's really hard to predict what Rockstar Games are going to do since they're a very, very unpredictable company. But I think the whole premise of GTA Online that we have at the moment will be the same with the new one. But obviously, you know, better graphics, better gameplay, everything like that. But I think the overall idea of the game and obviously with the money, you know, you buy the cars, you get the properties, everything like that will stay the same. I do. But I think we could see bigger size lobbies. I think that'd be really, really cool, actually, to see some uh, bigger lobbies. I think, you know, they are pretty big now, but the map, I assume, will be bigger with GTA 6. So could be cool to see more players in them and of course there's gonna be a lot of people playing it so yeah i think that'd be really really cool but um yeah i mean that does just about wrap up things here really uh, this was just a video talking about what i think we could expect from the online portion of gta 6 when we can expect it to release and of course talks about the progress that coming over and um of course yeah just everything that we can really expect from it and just some of my thoughts regarding it and what i'm expecting but um yeah with rockstar of course really hard to predict but yeah that does just about wrap up things here now on screen you are seeing a link to a different video hit the link on the screen if you are interested in watching that i'll see you in the next one peace